Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday afternoon. Hope yours is going well. We've got another Seahawks video to get to today, but first we just hit 2,060 subscribers to the YouTube channel. 2,060. Shout out to all the subscribers, and of course, special tip of the cap goes to the, as of right now, 31 channel members, including elite channel members Y2KHA, Brandon McKell, Rip, Scott Todd, Hasher for MVP, and VGK Tigers 75. All right, it's Tuesday. You guys know what time it is. How did Russ cook on Sunday? Well, I have some good news, and in this context, yes, it is good news. The Seahawks finally played a game that was over in the third quarter. Not kind of over, or basically over, or a little over, way over. So, not only did, did this team get to run the ball a lot at the end of the game, just trying to get the game over with, because we were up by so much the result was never in doubt, we got to put in our backups. So the run percentages this week did come up a little bit pretty much across the board. And this time I'm going to be totally okay with it because, look, if you can blow out a team by five touchdowns, then feel free to just run the ball on 90% of your plays when you get to the fourth quarter because, hey, it's winning football. Being up by five touchdowns in the fourth quarter is pretty much always going to get you the win. So what you do at that point is your business. But uh, let's take a look. Usually an average NFL team, even a team that isn't very good, will play a couple games a year where they're winning by so much in the fourth quarter that play calling kind of doesn't even matter. The Seahawks, this is really their first one all year. Maybe you could say against the Niners and Falcons we had a little bit of that. But... This Jets game was something else, and we saw a lot of running plays get called in the fourth quarter that were purely designed to just get out of there with the dub. All right, with that being said, let's take a look at some of these percentages, and at the end of the video, because we are almost at the end of the season, we're going to take a look at whether or not this is working out for us overall. So the overall run percentage for the Seahawks is now up to 40%, still a massive decrease from last year. Still one of the lower numbers in the league. We are 21st in the league in run percentage, 40%. Again, seems about right to me. You got to remember, we have a QB who has some ability to run, although he didn't run once against the Jets. We have good running backs. We have good run-blocking offensive linemen, at least some of the time. Whether or not Upati's out there is kind of the variable, but it makes sense that we would want to run the ball at least some. So I think this is a pretty good place to be, 40%. Solid. First down run percentage, 47, which is an increase of 1% from last week. 21st in the league once again. Strikes me as solid. If we could be around 21st in the league in run percentage and first down run percentage at the end of this year, I would have nothing to complain about. First down and long, we did not have a single first and long against the Jets. So these numbers did not move whatsoever. Hey, we are doing an awesome job avoiding first and long so far this year. And that was with a game or two games with our backup center, which definitely contributed to a couple of those first and long situations we found ourselves in. Um, for comparison's sake, last year we had 25 first and 15 or more. So far this year we have 12. Even if we have a couple down the stretch, we're going to have way less. And also last year we had... 14 first and very longs. 14 first and very longs. This year so far we have five. So that's pretty incredible, I think. That's a big turnaround and very encouraging, in my opinion, in terms of the process of this offense getting better. Even if it's not exactly where we would all want it to be at all times, we have improved a lot in this area. All right, now we move on to second down. Our run percentage on second down jumped up a little bit to 37% which is, again, still one of the lower numbers in the league. That is 23rd in the NFL. 23rd. And that's a big step down from where it was last year, so I'm going to continue to say that's a step in the right direction. Obviously, this number came up because we had some garbage time possessions against the Jets. Again, not going to complain about it. Second down and medium. We did see a small uptick in our run plays on second and medium. And... I have no beef with it. 36% is still well below what it was last year. And being 20th in the league, 
seems all right to me. We have good running backs. We have a quarterback who is prone to take off and run on second and mediums. It makes a lot of sense to me. So I like the way this offense is playing on second down in general. And finally, now we have second down and long. What are the Seahawks doing on second and long? 26%, which, hey, it's in in my perfect world, we would basically run the ball on second and long maybe 5% of the time. I really don't like running the ball on second and 10. I think it's just a losing play, but hey, 23rd in the league, I can live with that. There's there's some level of nonsense that you have to live with as, with being an NFL fan unless you just have the smartest coach in the whole league like a uh, Bill Belichick or an Andy Reid. So there's it's kind of like how we have to accept that there's some level of insect waste and rat turds in our food and we just have to accept there's some minimal acceptable level that is permitted by the FDA. It's kind of like that. Second down and long running plays are like those rat turds. There are going to be a few of them. You just have to live with them. 23rd in the league is something that I can live with. All right, so now we get to the areas where we have not improved, and they are the same areas in which we didn't show improvement this whole season, basically. Third down. On third down, we are running the ball 28% of the time. That is higher than it was the last two years. Now, interestingly enough, interestingly enough, we're actually only ninth in the league in third down run percentage. We were sixth in the league the previous two years despite having a lower percentage. So the league as a whole is running the ball more on third down. So in a way, maybe it's not really that big of an indictment that we're running the ball a little more on third down. Maybe it doesn't mean all that much. But the fact that we're not that great of a third down offense makes me believe that we could really stand to open things up a little more on third down. I understand third and one, third and two, you're going to want to grind out a chain mover a lot of the time. But I feel like we could be doing a little more here to open up this offense. And finally, third down and long, still headed in the wrong direction. This is the one area that has been a massive disappointment to me this year. Again... I want to stress, we ran the ball on one of our third and longs against the Jets because it was the fourth quarter and the game was over and we were just trying to move the clock. But uh, overall, we are running the ball on almost half of our third and longs this year. Almost half, which is by far most in the league. However, at the end of the day, if you take a look at this as a report card, you would say that we're doing very well. We are showing improvement in a lot of key areas. We're not perfect, but I can't really complain about how much control Wilson has been given over this offense. And honestly, if we were to end the season with numbers like this, I would consider this to be a pretty successful season for the situational play calling of the Seahawks. Now, the specific play calling, maybe that needs to be called into question. The execution of the play calls... Maybe you can call those into question too. However, I do want to draw attention to one little interesting thing. This is a uh, ESPN.com offense, which teams are putting up the most points per game through 13 games. The Seattle Seahawks are currently third in the league at over 30 points a game, and they have done that without the benefit of a single defensive or special teams touchdown. All their points have come from the offense. They may have had a couple of short fields, but... Every point has been scored by the offense earning it. And third in the NFL is a big step up from last year when the Seahawks were ninth. So if we can maintain our velocity and continue to put up massive results and maybe end this season around 30 points a game and still be in the top five in points per game or points overall, I guess. That would indicate to me that our situational play calling improvement did result in a production improvement in terms of actual yards and points. All right, I'm going to get out of here on that note. Peace out, go Hawks. We're going to be putting this offense to the test for the next couple weeks because Washington has a good defense. LA has a really good defense. Even the 49ers, injured as they are, have had a pretty good defense so far this year. So it's not going to be easy for us to maintain 30 points a game, but if we can do it, I think that will prove in at least some form or fashion that our situational play calling helped a lot.
Peace out, go Hawks.